All right, welcome back, YouTube. In this episode, we're going to uh, fix up my machine line here, and I'm going to start right away by sticking a, um, a furnace right here. And you'll notice that I did not connect the cable, because that would be a very bad idea. If I were to do that, these machines would explode almost instantly. Um, really, really not a smart idea. Make sure you do not um, attach your cable to your MFE before putting in the transformer upgrades. So, And I also put a MFE there, and uh, the power is running very fine. Very fine indeed. Uh, good things are happening. Very good things. Okay, so uh, I made a lot of Energyrum dust, um, more than I need for a little bit, so let's just stick that all in there. As you can see, the uh, sorting machine works really fast now. I have upgraded that quite a few times. Uh, in fact, let, let's just show you guys how many times I upgraded that. I've got 20 speed upgrades in there. This, this thing is just zooming. It's zooming. It's going so fast. Uh, Alright, so... Um, I want to move these uh, these guys over here and uh, or those guys down there over here um, But unfortunately, I require a couple of these machines still um, because I need the assembling machine for the uh, the upgrades here uh, Yeah, these guys I need the assembling machine for the high voltage transformer upgrade here and uh, I'm gonna need some sulfur lead um, I did not get all the ingredients like I said I would, so I'm probably going to have to cut away here in order to get that. Um, yeah, I think I might. Um, I cannot make aluminium ingots yet, because to make aluminium I require... Wow, that is... Uh... That is pretty crazy. I could make aluminium with aluminum by using pyrothium dust. That is a bit, um, a bit hacks. Um, to get aluminium ingots, you're supposed to use a uh, industrial uh, grinder. Wow, you can actually make it with aluminium dust in a induction smelter too. Uh, no, you're supposed to use the industrial blast furnace to make aluminium. That's how you're supposed to make it. Um, but it looks like you can actually make it a couple of other ways now. Uh, py pyrothium dust and aluminium ore. And uh, pyrothium dust is used by... Are made by using sulfur, coal, redstone, and blaze powder like you saw before. So all I'd need is some, a little bit of coal dust or pulverized coal. And I can make a bunch of pulver, um, pyrothium and get some um, aluminium ingots real early. Um, those, are, those are supposed to be a pretty uh, near endgame material used for making some of the endgame machines for Greg Tech. But since I can do it that way, I'm going to uh, skip a little bit of the process in Greg Tech. Um, which is fine by me, because I have uh, quite a bit of aluminium, I believe, somewhere down here. Did I make a Tinker's Construct? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I have, um, a lot. Um, <laughs> I could do with transferring a stack or two of this into aluminium ingots with uh, pyrothium dust, because I believe I have quite a bit of sulfur, yeah. Um... I think one stack of sulfur will equate to two stacks of pyrothium dust. So if I take two stacks of this, and I have um, lots of blaze powder, I believe, um, it'll be easy to make another stack of that because I got tons of uh, I got the blaze soul thing downstairs. So I got I got that. Um, there's. Um, I actually only need one stack. What am I doing? Because uh, one stack equals two stacks of pyrothium dust. And then I just need to pulverize this, and I'll have a bunch of aluminium. Uh, where is my pulverizer? I have it here somewhere. I know you are alive. Uh, so I'll let that do its thing. I'll take these, uh, these bars upstairs and put them in my machine. Um, and while I'm waiting, I'm going to, uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to make a few of these. So how many did I did I need? I got one machine there, and then I have I believe it was uh, seven. I said I think I said seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm gonna need seven transform upgrades. So that's seven uh, electronic circuits. I don't think I need anything after that. So seven electronic circuits and a bunch of uh, machine casings. Um, I will be right back once I've gathered up all of the materials I need to make the transformer upgrades here. So uh, please bear with me while I transition over to it. It's not going to be a very good transition, let me tell you that now. Alright guys, we're back. Um, so there's a couple of things I wanted to do um, before we get down. i still got a little bit of stuff to do because I need uh, two more basic machine casings. But in the meantime, while that's doing that thing, I noticed the uh, the speed upgrade here for extra utilities that uh, my sorting system here. Um, there is a stacks upgrade, and if I'm uh, if I'm assuming correctly, I assume that means it'll move stacks at a time, or instead of you know draining one item at a time into the little pipe and then trying to try to figure out where to put it, it will uh, take a stack, an entire stack, and then figure out where to put it instead of you know um, individual little items at a time. So it'll make the process a little bit faster. I decided to make one of those. So I put a, uh, a stacks upgrade here. And uh, and if I'm reading this correctly, it does that. If I'm not, then there's another thing that it might do. And uh, all right, well, I put that in there. It didn't change the interface at all. So if I put a bunch of stacks of rubber in here, it should take the entire stack instead of draining individual little items at a time. And that is what it seems to be doing. So that's kind of cool. It'll make uh, moving stacks of items very way faster. It won't take like half a stack or you know three quarters of a stack. It'll take a full stack out at a time. Uh, really, really nifty. Okay, so that was uh, that was kind of cool. Um, next up, my machines. They're really loud. Oh god. But I believe. I don't have enough. I need one more. Give me that. Alright. Now, now I have enough, uh, plates here to make a, uh, all my casings that I need it. Um, before I do that, I did want to, you know, make my aluminium ingots. Alumin... No, it's just gonna give me alum... Aluminum. I don't want alum... Aluminum. Yeah, see, it uh, it takes aluminum ore, gives me aluminium ingots, but it also does that too. So, is aluminum ore considered Greg Tech as well now? Let's check that out. Let's put a stack of these in my inventory. Does it change it to aluminium? No, it doesn't. So, all right. Well, that whole uh, that whole system there that I thought I was gonna do was kind of botched, so I will not be skipping any of the uh, the Greg Tech stuff. All right, let's get to crafting these transformer upgrades, guys. Uh, oops, almost forgot. I did have a little bit of glass sm being smelted up here because I don't think I had enough glass for all of the transformer upgrades I needed, so I made some more. So first up, I need uh, medium voltage transformers. I don't need that many. I only need... Uh, no, actually, I do need that many. Hopefully I was right. Because I believe I need a high voltage transformer, which requires electronic circuits. Ooh, okay, that's what I'm missing. I am missing some cables and iron plates for electronic circuits because I believe I need, yeah, I need 14 electronic circuits. So let's grab some cables. Cables. Am I all out of cables for real? Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna stick a stack of copper in my, uh, in my, uh, wire mill. But that's gonna be a little bit, guys, so... I'm sorry that I came back and 
didn't really do much, but I'm going to have to cut again because I don't want you guys to watch my uh, my wire mill here. Actually, all right, I got enough plates. Um, while it's while it's milling the wire, let's go ahead and make the other components that I need. So I need a uh, advanced RE batteries. So I'm going to need seven of these, so seven lead, seven sulfur, and seven bronze item casings. The bronze item casings are made by bashing a piece of bronze with a hammer. And I believe, yes, I have enough for that. So let's make seven of these. Oh, I'm going to need quite a bit more than that, huh? It's five per battery. Um, so that's, that's four batteries right there. Unfortunately, that is not enough. I'm actually going to need to... Uh, plate, plate bash some more bronze here. Let me go ahead and stick a, a stack in there. I don't need any more lead. The wire mill did a great job. Pretty sure I'm almost done. Oh god, it's so loud. Uh, once this is done, the, the really loud stuff won't, uh, the mace reader won't be loud anymore. There we go. That sound, that sound is, uh, is because the machines aren't receiving enough power, uh, because a 32 EU per tick and powering all these machines isn't working. If I had several bat box or a bat box dedicated to every machine, then it would work no problem. And eventually, um, once I get way up there, I will be doing something along those lines where um, every single machine will have its own dedicated power source in order to prevent any uh, any issues with not having enough power for running several machines. Um, that's also what the the battery upgrades are for, so that the they can be their own power source for a while. Um, but I'd feel safer having their own power power supply externally. All right, so this uh, this plate bending machine and the wire mill, I'm gonna have to go on a little li little bit longer. Uh, but while that's going on, we can go ahead and make um, a few of the things that we require. We'll make them over here in this machine um, because that one is being used. So there's all the cables I need and I'm going to need 14 electronic circuits. You guys have already seen this and wow I put 14 up there for me. That's it. Oh I barely had enough copper cables that's why. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Okay. And then we'll get set to make Uh, batteries here so that's five I actually need two more so I'm actually pretty close need a little bit more copper ca copper cable copper cable Getting a little bit weird here um, but do these things stack oh they don't that's kind of nasty okay so since they do not stack uh, let's go ahead and get um, all this stuff ready uh, I do have enough oh I made way too many circuits Interesting. Um, I don't want 14, I want 7. And the rest of these can go back into my inventory. Uh, upgrades can only stack to 4, so make sure... Uh, make sure that you only... Um, make what you need, uh, because your inventory will end up being filled with uh, upgrades. Alright, so I have these part, this part, and if we can see over here in the assembly machine, I only need the transformer upgrades and then the high voltage transformers. I have the uh, cables, the uh, transformers, and the circuits. All I need is the RE batteries. So that's not that hard to make. Um, unfortunately, I don't think the recipe will allow me to place the, or to do it that way because I have... Um, a item that doesn't stack in my inventory, so we'll have to go ahead and do it this way. Uh, wait, is it? This goes on this side, this goes on that side, and this goes here. There we go. Why am I? 
Why am I hearing weird sounds? Sounds like it's raining. What's going on? Stop it. Alright. Now if we come down here to my assembling machine, and we put the uh, high voltage transformers and the transformer upgrades in here, we'll see that it took one of the transformer upgrades and the high voltage transformers, and it is now creating it very, very, very slowly. Um, I believe it's mostly in part to the power issue here. And I should have enough bronze now, so I'll just take this out. And all the power should be dedicated to the assembling machine. And this is the main reason why I wanted to upgrade my machine as fast as possible. Is because these some of these machines, they, they require a lot. And by a lot, I mean tons of time. Uh, there are several machines in here that would take up to 10 or 20 minutes to do one process. So... Um, getting the higher voltage energy usage out of them and then upgrading them is very important if you want to be fast and efficient. So let's go ahead and, uh, um, oops, problem. I have a single problem. Is this one full? Yeah, it's full. Alright, my problem is, is that I don't have enough crafting tables. Uh, here's one. I found one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I could have just like made a new one or emptied one, but I didn't feel like it. This is all the cable I need, and I'm gonna need uh, said two more of these, right? That's what I need it. There we go. So now I should have enough to make batteries. Okay, and then I need the cable at the top. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Get rid of all these batteries. And it looks like one transformer upgrade is about to finish here. Whew, that's a, uh, that is pretty long. The interfaces are kind of cool because you know it's in use when it's got the, the green thing on the right side, which means it's full of power, and the green thing on the left, which means it's currently in operation. And also look at the top and it looks like it's, uh, yeah, it's got the little light at the top that works. So now we have the highest or higher tier of tr um, transformer upgrades for our machines. And we are going to plug this guy into my uh, furnace here. Um, I should, should be able to right click with it. Does it not work on these guys? Ah, okay. So for these guys, you actually require um, the lower tier. Uh, for the Greg Tech High Tech machines, you can actually use these ones, or maybe it's you can use these ones after you've uh, you've put in the two low tech. Yeah. Okay. There it is. There it is, guys. Um, so what you need to do first is you need to upgrade it twice to make it a um, compatible with the MFSU. And then you can use the high tech one to upgrade it to make it compatible with the the uh, the LEDU. I believe it's the LEDU. I, should, I think I'm pronouncing this properly, or saying it properly. But um, yeah, so that's how it seems it's going to be. Um, so that means I actually need 14 more transformer upgrades um, minus two, so 12 more transformer upgrades. Uh, yeah, it's going to be quite, quite bad here. Um, going to need two more of those guys. Let's go ahead and make those. And then I'm going to require, uh, 
12 more transformers, which is uh, 24 more cables. Got that, that's no problem. And then uh, 24 times eight in uh, iron plates. So I'm gonna have to make a, quite a few more iron plates here. And that is gonna take a little bit. Um, whoops, did I transform into myself? No, oh, I transformed into a gasoline. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll fly around and I'll be a bit bigger. That's okay. Just won't be able to fit into any spots lower that don't are uh, that aren't a two by two. Uh, actually, since I've calculated this wrongly, I'm actually going to require uh, two more, so for a total of 14. Uh, but let's stick these iron in there for now. And I'm going to create two more energy circuits, yeah, electronic circuits, and this guy here, before I go ahead and uh, switch this board over to iron casings. And we'll be making iron casings with that guy. And uh, I need 24. Oh, no, I'm actually going to require uh, four more old cables, which I believe I have. Uh, well, I have the cable, but I don't have it made into gold. And if you remember before, guys, I told you you need two stacks of, or rather two rubber to make the insulated gold cable. So it's going to take two stacks of my rubber there to make uh, insulated gold cable. Go back upstairs. And I can go over to my machine here. Plug a couple of these guys in here. And now we have what I need. Cool. Uh, next up is I wanted to put my hardened energy cell uh, right here and stick the hardened cable right up against it like that. Uh, so that way this thing can get powered and I can use it. It looks like it requires a constant current, which is not okay with me. So I will be turning it off every once in a while or when I don't need it. Yeah, it looks like it needs a constant current. So I have to keep that thing turned off. And I did want to test to see if um, the universal electricity thing is what I see. I, I think it is. So I'm going to take a piece of glass fiber cable here. Go up, go up, up. There we go. And I'm going to see if I can attach this glass cable into my redstone thing here. Uh, okay. So that, uh, that did not work. Unfortunately. Um, So I'm not actually sure, I do it this way? Nope. I'm not actually sure how uh, how to get the power in between each other with the uh, universal electricity. So um, maybe one at one time, sometime or another, I'll be able to do it. Uh, let's hook my furnace up here. And we can see that the machine did not explode. However, we don't know if it's actually working because I can't see any power systems on it. The only way to see if that's going to work is if I stick a piece of cobblestone in there. Let's go ahead and stick a piece of cobblestone in there. Oh, oh god, it's loud. It's really loud. But, as you can see, it is working quite well on uh, MFE power. And since I've upgraded it three times, it should work with uh, MFSU and LEDU power. Unfortunately, I don't have enough boxes here. Or enough uh, plates to make everything that I need. So some of these... Uh, 
Oh, no, I actually need to upgrade these casings into uh, MV transformers. Okay. So now I have uh, enough MV transformers, or enough transformers rather, for all seven of my um, high tech upgrades here. So this will be the third, or fourth rather, and then there will be three more, which is seven, which is enough for all of my machines. And uh, like I said, unfortunately I'm going to require two regular transformer upgrades for every single one of my machines. I've already put two into um, this guy here. So that means that I have to put uh, two in all of my other machines. And uh, in order to get that, I'm going to require quite a few more uh, casings here. So I think I'm going to pause and I'm going to uh, go ahead and wait for my uh, plates to bend in order to get this done. Maybe. Let's see if I can't get over to here and do these guys. Because I would like some overclocker upgrades, but I don't have those. I could make those pretty easily. Yeah, it's just tin plates and and uh, water. Uh, I could make uh, a few of these uh, this way. Um, eventually, once I start making these crazy coolant cells, I can start making the uh, uh, more overclocker upgrades. But the cheapest and easiest way to make it at the moment is using copper cables and electronic circuits. I'm going to have to make a few of these, but I don't have any spare electronic circuits, unfortunately. Um, so then I have to wait for that as well. It means I need more iron plates. And like I said, uh, once you start getting into Greg Tech and IC2, you're going to require a lot, a lot of uh, plate and assembling and, and mace rating and stuff. So these, uh, these upgrades are very important, guys. Very, very important. So we're going to uh, pause here and I will be, will, blah, 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 blah. I will be right back once I get all the, uh, the proper... Um, parts that I require for this. So I will see you guys in a uh, in a second here. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and I have all of the uh, the plates and whatnot I needed, so I have uh, all of my transformers. Now, in order to get started here, we're going to need to pick up my machines. Unfortunately, um, all machines have a break chance with the wrench. I believe I explained this in episode three, four, five, something like that. Whenever I made my first uh, extractor and uh, I think I made the plate bending machine at the same time, I explained that uh, the machines all have a chance to break if you pick them up with a wrench. Um, there, You can make the electric wrench. I don't have that at the moment. Uh, electric wrench, where are you? You're here somewhere. This one, the electric wrench. Um, I could make this and there is a lossless mode for it. Uh, but I think I'm going to take my chances and break up these machines here. So if I, uh, I believe if I right click uh, a couple of times with these guys, it will uh, break them off here. Alright, so uh, it looks like I got all of my machines back. I used up a little bit, bit of the durability on my wrench. <laughs> um, unfortunately, if I put it on this line right now, they'll all explode, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to take the wire, and that will stop the uh, machine from exploding on me, which I don't want to happen. If I go here and I take all my, my things, take the macerator first. Stick that down, 
and then uh, let's see let's go extractor and then my compressor and then my uh, wire mill my plate bending machine and my assembly machine there we go we now have an assembly line of machines however if I were to power this they would all explode and I don't want that so I'm gonna take a double um, regular transformer upgrade and put the one or two into every machine here so that's uh, two in that one two in that one two in that one and two in that one now we have um, up to MFSU power and now we should have up to LEDU power so that is every single one of my machines has been upgraded to accept the highest voltage of power um, or yeah I think that's the highest voltage of power and all of them should now be powered by an MFE eventually I'll make that an MFSU but for now you know it's fine as it is um, I also do not need my bat box down here anymore so this can be picked up and a regular regular wire can go here and this will cease the uh, the low functionality that will happen with my um, my MFE here so um, now this uh, has received uh, as much power as it can possibly get and I'll put a couple more thermal generators here I think probably four more um, I might put the pipe down and extend this along the bottom here um, underneath the floor to get uh, you know like 12 more or something on there um, for now those uh, those that amount of thermal gen is perfectly fine to power my machines and my uh, AE system I think should be good enough I think I think it is uh, powering the machine so that is very good um, eventually I will upgrade those to an MFSU but I believe an MFSU is a little bit out of my league uh, quite a few Lapatronic crystals um, I could probably go ahead and make one advanced machine casing casing casting um, yeah I could probably make one uh, it would take a lot of resources to go up, get up there and gather them all and, and get them all done um, but right now I want to consider on or uh, get the upgrades going first so um, the next up is the uh, the overclocker upgrades I want at least one if not two in every single one of these machines in order to um, stop them from you know being broken or slow uh, but before that I want to create a broom yeah you heard me a broom I'm gonna make a regular old magical broomstick. Oh, did I did I not mention magic? Yeah, I want a magical broomstick, and uh, I believe what this guy will do is if I place him, uh, I'm supposed to place him next to a chest, and he will sweep up any items that land nearby into the chest. So if I place him, attach him to that chest there, he's going to. Uh, sweep around and he's going to pick up any items that drop onto the ground and put them into that chest maybe is that what you're going to do broom do it go broom go all right and because i placed the the broom there he is a an object i can research no can't research him all right he has no research value um but i do want to research the mfe Nothing can be learned, and my automatic furnace here. That's a machina. Okay. Uh, I didn't research this either. Oh, and I discovered a new research: gaseous tenebra, tenebrae, tenebrae, something like that. I have some pretty bad pronunciation skills here, guys. So I'm sorry. Um, do I have one of those? Apparently not. All right, I can go in there. Also, while I was, uh, uh, you know, waiting for my stuff to do its thing, I did go ahead and 
I researched the infusion, so now I have the infusion altar. And that allows me to get um, other things down here, like the, the Boots of the Traveler, the, the Magical Mirror, which is really cool, and all of the magical tools. So if you remember, a while ago I picked up a uh, Axe of the Stream and a Magical Hoe. They are uh, pretty complex to make, and they require some pretty in-depth research or some pretty... Uh, um, hard research to get and unlock them so uh, I it's nice it's nice that I got those early and I didn't have to make them one of the other things that I like to get is the sort of the Zephyr uh, sort of the Zephyr is a AoE damage sword like the sickle except it does uh, more damage and you can enchant it um, how you want so uh, eventually I want to get a sort of the Zephyr so I can drop the sickle but the sickle for now is going to be okay I still do want to put a beheading onto the sickle, but I'll do that at one point. The other thing that I got is I unlocked the, uh, um, you can also see that I have unlocked all the other cores, or I can see all the other cores. Um, all the other cores have uh, bonuses to their aspects, so quartz would be to order, silver would be to, uh, I don't know, I haven't researched silver wood, um, bone is uh uh the, the the bad one the negative one uh i forget what it's called sorry guys um to perdito uh icy is for the ice or the water rather and obsidian is for earth uh reed is for air blaze is for fire and uh yeah that's that's what it is okay you can also see in the description it's kind of like it kind of hints that it, that's what it's for and tropic and ordered so um, this is for you know all of them um, uh, kind of a small bonus to reduce the usage of all of them but these ones themselves have a uh, fairly large bonus to reduction on the usage of their core element um, Eventually, I want at least one or two of every single type of one, so that way when I do construction with them, that, uh, see, because I, I only require earth for this recipe. Um, if I had an earthen wand here, uh, the uh, obsidian wand core and, and golden caps, I would have uh, a really good reduction to the uh, construction of this. And then I pop on my thaumaturge's robes, and you know I'm only using like 50% of that, so that three would be like 1.5. Um, if you can can understand what I'm doing there or what I'm saying there, then that's awesome. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's how stuff is. Did my wand or did my broom actually do anything? Yeah, I think it's actually sweeping up the. Uh, it's actually sweeping up the eggs and putting them into the chest here. It's seven in the bottom, so I'll see how it goes afterwards. We'll see. Um, right now I wanted to get a couple more of the upgrades here, and if we can see properly that I require... Uh, I'm going to require seven overclocker clocker upgrades, and I want, actually want 14, so that is uh, 14 electronic circuits. I don't actually think I made enough uh, iron plates. Yeah, I did not. Wow. I'm going through iron plates like crazy here, guys. Um, I'm going to require a lot of iron plates, and I'm also going to require a lot of tin plates. Um, so I might actually have to cut this one more time in order to get all the uh, the plates that I, gonna, I am going to require for this. Uh, what else did I need? Uh, copper cables. Make sure i got to grab a couple of those. I need uh, 24 copper cables, I want to say. 24. All right, there we go. That's enough copper cable, and uh, I'm gonna have to take a stack of iron and a stack of tin. As you can see, I am quickly, very, 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 very quickly going through my iron and my tin. I'm gonna have to go mining for uh, iron and tin um, a little bit later, but for now, I should be good. Um, now that my uh, machines are up here onto this power. They should be going very nicely. 
Um, there shouldn't be any more problems. It's gonna do my iron plates first. I only need 14 of the. Yeah, I only need 14 of these. Let's quickly get up all these uh, these plates. I actually need a couple of more. I need 28 copper wires. I was kind of uh, miscalculated here. My math is all wrong. Thirteen, and the last one will be fourteen, and that will be exactly how much plates I need. After the iron gets done, it can make me more iron plates, but for now, this is what I need. Uh, I'm going to need some redstone, and I'm going to need some more copper cables. Man. These copper cables. Oh, man. Oh, man. So let's take out all my rubber here. Um... While I'm at it, let's stick some more rubber into my extractor. I need some more copper cables, so I need more copper out. Over to the wire mill I go. Um, and I need the extractor. Yeah, it sounds like a machine room in here, eh? Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, while I, I was uh, sitting around waiting for nothing to ha or th that stuff to do its stuff, I, uh, I put a few um, iron stairs here and some magical stairs here. So now I have uh, kind of like a transition into my magical upstairs from my machinic downstairs. I guess that's kind of cool. Maybe I should have just put all the put all these as iron stairs, but the the iron stairs are actually uh, blocks of iron instead of the iron walls or or regular iron ingots. Kind of really really kind of expensive at this time. Um, you know, iron meh, not that bad, but uh, I don't really want to waste it. Um, eventually, I'm going to require one of these uh, armor stands. I'm probably going to stick one up here for my Ars Magica so that I can have uh, some magical robes for Ars Magica sitting on a stand. Uh, in fact, while I'm waiting, why don't we why don't we go ahead and make one of those? So, three of those and a couple of pieces of iron. There we go. I have an armor stand for Ars Magica. And I can put my thermometer, my uh, battle robes on there. Uh, all right. Next up is I'm going to require some water buckets, so I might as well take my water or buckets out of here. Uh, if you use buckets, it doesn't consume the bucket. If you use the uh, cells, like it says in the recipe, you can use. Um, so you can use buckets, you can use bottles, you can use cans and cells. Um, cells, cans, and bottles are all used, but the buckets themselves are not used. They are put back into your inventory, so you can continuously use them. Um, eventually, I want some sort of like automated bucket filling system um, to make so that when I request uh, upgrades, overclocker upgrades, that it can make it, because uh, it's kind of um, kind of annoying to make these overclocker upgrades. Um, in fact, uh, because I'm not, I know I'm going to require to make a, or to use the water, I'm going to stick a table out here in the middle of the water so that I can craft with it easily. Uh, where's my wire mill? Mill those cables. Mill those wood tin plates. I'm going to require tons of tin plates. And uh, let's go ahead and craft the circuits that I need. I did say I needed 14 circuits, so let's go ahead and hope that I hope that I have enough. Yeah, barely enough. Uh, question is, do I? No, I don't have enough circuit or cable left for. Oh yeah, I do. I have 35 in my hand. What am I doing? All right. 
So now I take 14 of these and stick them here with that. And we now have the, uh, the base for my um, upgrades here. Uh, I am going to require another crafting station. Just quickly grab this guy here. And stick him right beside this guy. Alright, so this guy, I want to uh, make a kind of a, a cell pattern with my uh, tin plates here. Um, unfortunately, because the uh, the cell pattern has changed, the, the plates won't actually make the cell. Um, but if I were to... over to uh, okay maybe you don't use the cells I think you just actually use the uh, you just flat use the ingots to make cells um, but uh, at the as as far as cells go we won't be making any of those so I'll go into more detail with those later uh, so let's just make sure that I'm not going crazy high with the time here I am actually going pretty crazy with the time here. This is probably going to be another hour-long hour episode. And I apologize to everyone that doesn't want to watch one hour-long episodes, but um, when I get really into crafting here, it just gets really long. And uh, at the moment, I have to explain a lot of stuff to anybody that's new. And if you're not new, then I'm sorry that I'm explaining all this stuff. Now I got all my buckets of water. I can make coolant cells galore. Fortunately, coolant cells do not stack either, so you're going to have a lot of unstackables in your inventory. Make sure that you have enough inventory space to do this, otherwise you're going to run into inventory issues like I know a lot of other YouTubers do. I tend to like to keep my inventory clean except for what I'm using to craft. If I need to have more inventory space, I'll use a, like a bag to store stuff that I need eventually, but not at the moment. So if I take my coolant cells and I stick three on top, I will now get a single um, overclocker upgrade. So now that we see we got uh, two and three and we'll have four here. Unfortunately, due to the fact that I'm using MFE power, I believe if I uh, overclock this guy um, I'll probably have an issue. Um, if I overclock this guy, I might run into an issue where, um, Uh, I might come into an issue where I have uh, not enough power supply for it and if I don't have enough power supply for my plate bending machine I believe I will be pretty screwed um, what is an MFSU so for an MFSU I need an MFE not too hard I already have one of those and I require some uh, an advanced machine casing. Also not too hard because I already have the advanced alloys. I just need the carbon plates and a basic machine casing, which is eight iron plates. Um, the hard part about this would be the Labratronic crystals, which require advanced circuits and uh, energy crystals. So I'd need six energy crystals. Uh, not too hard. I might actually want to upgrade like as soon as possible here. What are you doing in here? Where'd you come from? Now you're dead. I hope you're happy. Where's my wand? Give me all that aspect. Give me all the aspects. Alright. So, had enough of that. Alright, uh, so this plate bending machine, uh, you know, it's doing its own business. Let's, let's try to upgrade it. Why not, right? So it's gotten one upgrade. It's a little bit faster. might can I stick to uh, do I want to try it do I want to tempt fate I think it's a it's one overclocker upgrade per um, per level of energy supply 
So um, if I use an overclocker upgrade, the first one will upgrade it to MFE power, the second one will end up upgrading it to MFSU power, and the third one will probably end up upgrading it to um, uh, IDEU power, I want to say. Um, but I think it has space for four overclocker upgrades, so it might be... Oh god, that, uh... Oh, you're not that hard. Get your cobwebs out of here. I want your pants. Um, so I, I think that's how it works, but I think I have enough plates to, in fact, let's just, uh, let's make some iron plates while I make the rest of my overclocker upgrades, just in case something goes wrong, because I have a feeling I might be wrong. So I can make 15 more uh, coolant cells. Which I believe is more than I need, so that's... That'll be one more overclocker upgrade. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five overclocker upgrades. Can I just press that and over here? Nope, of course not. Because I'm using items that only don't that don't stack. Really, uh, I really wish they would fix that or do something about that. I mean, it's a nice feature to be able to to shift click like that. But if you can't shift click it on half the recipes, it's kind of uh, almost useless. Um, okay, I lied. Apparently, I need one more to make the last thing I need. Oh, and while I'm out here, let's go check on those eggs. Let's see if that broom actually did anything. Or if my, uh, chest... Yeah, it is doing stuff. Okay. So that broom is, uh, is sweeping up any eggs that the chicken lays on the ground. Um, in pretty large area, I believe. I hope. And it is, uh, placing it into the chest there. I'll get into more Ars Magica magical things uh, because when it updated, it added quite a few things that are really cool, um, really good for farming as well, and uh, we'll get into that once it comes around. Um, let's see if I have enough iron. I believe I need it. One machine casing, casing, yeah, casing. Oh yeah, uh, went through all that iron pretty quick actually. So I definitely have enough iron now. Um, let's see if one more overclocker upgrade breaks this machine. Oh, looks like it's working. But I believe it's draining the power quite a bit. Oh, it's actually uh, not too bad. Okay. Well, since it wasn't too bad, I guess I can upgrade all of my machines now. Plop a couple into my extractor. Uh, plop a couple into my wire mill. A couple into my uh, assembling machine. I'm actually going to hold back on my... Hold back on my last one there because I don't want to add it to something that I don't... Uh, or I'm not able to upgrade. Uh, but I have enough to make... One more upgrade. So.
kind of tedious, like I say, but uh, once I get it automated into the AE system, then I won't have to worry about this too much. Um, I believe the compressor was the last one there that I need to upgrade. So let's go ahead and upgrade that guy twice. So now all of my machines here should be, or should have uh, two overclocker upgrades. Um, like I say, I'm gonna require lots and lots and lots and lots of overclocker upgrades. So, um, you know, it's very, very important that you, you get these guys, especially with Greg Tech installed. Um, there is no other upgraded machines that will do what I, I want to do with these machines. So, yeah. Um, all right, guys, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to uh, probably make a couple more um, overclocker upgrades because I require uh, at least two more for my, or at least four more for my furnace and my macerator. And if I want to upgrade it any further when I go to MFSU power, then I'm going to require a couple more after that. Um, but I think next episode we will uh, get into the uh, my um, automated sorting or automated uh, machinery here to make those automatic for everything that I want to do with them um, next episode. Alright, um, so thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope it's not too long for you guys, um, but I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> so sorry about that, sorry about the long episode guys, but uh, it, it is what it is, I got too too much into or too far into here, so um, i got really excited about making all these machines and, and getting them all upgraded. Uh, but next episode, episode 31, we'll get into the automation of them, hopefully. Uh, a little bit and I will show you how to use the AE system to automate uh, machinery and uh, yeah it's gonna be great I'm gonna have to make a couple more uh, disk drives and I so I can stick by my lapis and glowstone and stuff in here um, but you know we'll get into there well um, this is gonna be great it's gonna be some good stuff um, next episode we'll get into automating and uh, I'll see you guys then uh, like as always guys if you enjoyed my episode or enjoy what I do then please do leave the uh, the like the comment or the follow all three are very much appreciated and if all three are combined you get over 9,000 no I uh, I am deeply gra grateful 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 for it um, it's a uh, very very much appreciate it when you guys uh, help me out um, and I, I'll see you guys next episode goodbye <laughs>